Around the turn of the century, Michael C. Dorn, a German immigrant, moved to America to start a better life. He eventually landed in Burlington, Vermont, and started a cafe. It was there that he began experimenting with carbonated beverages. One of those beverages would eventually become famous across all of New England for its unique flavor. Venetian ginger ale had a spicy bite, tamed with just enough sweetness to bring it all into balance. By 1915, the popularity of Venetian grew so much that Michael founded m and Dornco, built a bottling facility in Burlington, and Venetian Beverages was born. Over the years, Michael taught his sons how to run the business, and on his passing in 1934, his son Frank took over. Under Frank's leadership, m and Dornco focused on bottling better known brands. And after a series of family tragedies, the Venetian brand fizzled out. Michael Dorn was my great-great-grandfather, and he left behind a legacy that's been boxed away for years. I've always been interested in my family history. A couple of years ago, I started digging around the Dorn archives in my grandfather's basement. Amongst the photos, old bottles, and paperwork, I started to discover a history long forgotten. A soda bottled during Prohibition and maybe even ties to bootlegging. It was a dream come true, and I knew instantly I had to continue the legacy set down by Michael C. Dorn so many years ago.